All right, what's going on, guys? This is Sona64. I've got uh, Ready Clips Team to give Ballistic gameplay, Deathmatch. Apparently, um, when I joined the server, it was, as you can probably see, it was everybody on one side versus bots, which I didn't kind of like. I didn't like this, so I put myself on the um, the bots team because I don't like playing against bots. Bots are too easy, too predictable, or they're either too hard and and you don't know how to beat them. But um, I'm pretty good, so I don't really give a fuck. I could probably beat 100 bots if I really tried it, and if my computer could actually run it. Anyway, um, I go on a pretty beast tear on this video, so if you want to watch that, that's pretty cool. But um, I wanted to do this commentary because I just had something I wanted to talk about, and this, um, this is what I'm about to talk about. This, uh, this topic is derived from a game which I probably shouldn't have been playing in the first place because the game is terrible. It's a very terrible game, and it should have never been built, or maybe it should have just been fixed more, because it just kind of sucks. Okay, the game I'm talking about is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and I, I, I'm probably going to get some comments like, why are you playing Call of Duty? Or, moreover, why are you playing MW2? It's like, well, um, I've been playing Battlefield Bad Company 2 for mm, 10 months, no, 10, 10 months? Yeah, 10 months. I've been playing it for about 10 months. Not really a year yet, but I've been playing it long enough. I know how to win. I, I really don't know how to say that any better or, you know, describe it, but, you know, I know how to win games. There's really no problem with Battlefield. This isn't a Call of Duty versus Battlefield thing. I, I think if any real person were watching this video, they would probably agree that Battlefield is better than Call of Duty, so honestly, there isn't an argument here, so I'm not talking about Call of Duty versus Battlefield because to put those two in the same arena together they would have to be equal which they are not one is better than the other therefore not equal meaning no chance so um, what I really want to talk about was um, I've been playing MW2 for a while because uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2 really hasn't been giving me much of a challenge uh, I went on the slaughter. I was kind of happy right there. And then I get so cocky and then I die. Sorry. I, I just went off. I wasn't paying attention. But um, I think, yeah, I end up dying, don't I? Or do I keep going? I don't know how far I go. All I know is I had got a, a, a slaughter. I'm, I think I got a massacre and a bloodbath and stuff. So just keep watching. Um, I just went off on a tangent because I'm watching the video while I'm talking. Uh, let me look away. And you guys can watch and I'll just talk. But, um, yeah, um, MW2, wow, what a game. There are things in that game that I think can be said should never happen in any first-person shooter. I've probably said this to a million people since I started playing this, like, a week and a, or a week and a half ago, and the only reason why I started playing it is because I, I told you, you know, I needed a challenge. Uh, Bad Company 2 hasn't been giving me a challenge, and I don't have money to get Battlefield 3 yet. But my cousin was like, hey, you want to borrow MW2 for a while? And, you know, my first thing, I first, the first thing that came to my mind was, yep, see, there's a massacre. I'm still watching the video, sorry. But um, the first thing that came to my mind was rage. I'm going to rage. And that's my girlfriend texting me, sorry. But, um, yeah, I was thinking rage and, you know, I'm going to rage. I'm going to get mad. But for some reason, I was just like, you know, I really don't give a fuck. It's a, it's a different game. It's a challenge because I haven't played Call of Duty steadily in like four years. Because I, I was playing Call of Duty 4 for maybe like four months before I gave it back to the person who let me borrow it. And I hadn't played Call of Duty since. Um, I mean, I played Call of Duties. I just, I just, I never owned one, you know, or borrowed one for over a week or hell, less than a week, more than a day. I might have went over to somebody's house to play Call of Duty, but that was it. I never, I never like played, played Call of Duty, but I, I mean, I played it. And I just, and, uh, World at War wasn't nice at all. I, I hated it. I didn't like uh, World at War. Um, MW2, everybody seemed to like it at first, and now it's the shittiest first-person shooter of all time. Now, some people will disagree with me and say, hey, this game was awesome. Awesome. Well, I don't think I need to talk about the flaws of the game. But I can say, for the most part, the main thing, the main reason why I wanted to do this commentary, sort of, kind of, about Modern Warfare 2 was, um, it just had to do with the camping. Now, yeah, obviously that's one of the flaws in um, MW2, but, I'm sorry, I, got, I just got caught in the video for a second, but, yeah, um, the camping, 
Oh, and it's funny because I'm a, I'm a Battlefield player, and immediately when people think about Call of Duty versus Battlefield, Call of Duty is uh, you know real fast first person shooter. It's it's um run and gun and twitchy shooting. Whereas Battlefield, you have to take a step back and you know um, approach it a different way. You know, and I mean I guess you can kind of say that instills camping in a sort of way, but. The, the funny part is, I have been playing Battlefield, like I said, for 10 months, and uh, to, to be honest, I don't think I ever can't, like, legitimately camped, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong, a sniper, a sniper in general, camping for a sniper isn't camping at all, because a, a sniper obviously doesn't really run around with a sniper rifle, you know, quick scoping, or quick sniping, whatever you want to call it. But, I mean, for the most part, when I used sniper rifles and, you know, in Battlefield Bad Company too, putting the ACOG on that thing was, ooh-wee, man, quick scoping was just slick as water. But, um, you know, that's, that's basically what I did with the sniper rifle in Battlefield. I, I rushed. In fact, I, I mostly rushed in Battlefield Bad Company too. I can say that for a fact that I rushed. And, um, you know, I just thought, you know, because this came from my, me playing Call of Duty for you know, like four months. That was like the main only first person shooter I had played on console. And um, I really liked it. So, I mean, I, I like rushing around. Rushing around is really, really fun. And I get a lot of kills just from rushing around. And most of the times I end up on the top of the server. Nowadays, I still rush when I play Bad Company 2. And I still get on top of the server. But it's just because I'm just a fucking beast. But anyway, um, I was, I'm playing Call of Duty for like the last week and a half. Yeah, you're going to encounter some campers, you're going to encounter some hackers, you're going to encounter some modded lobbies, you're going to encounter ragers, you're going to encounter kids, you're going to encounter, uh, what is it, host migration, uh, just, you're going to encounter, um, what is what is it, um, you're going to encounter Commando Pro, which, God, dude, that is one thing that sucks and noob tubes don't forget about noob tubes now noob tubes are sort of bearable but in this game noob tubing is almost like it's almost like almost like nuking like it's just terrible even with no danger close pro or, or danger close i'm sorry without danger close you're still doing mad damage with um with uh, what, what did i what perk did i mention i just i just said it anyway um danger close I got a triple kill right there. Anyway, uh, yeah, so there's a lot of bad things about this game. Although they, they seem like just aspects of the game, these are honestly the worst things about the game. Like, seriously, this game's broken. I mean, and I, I don't mean to say broken, like, broken, broken, but it, the game itself sucks. It, but it does give me a challenge. I have to beat the cheap people. Which I usually have to beat the sheep people in Battlefield because they use automatic shotguns. But for some reason in Call of Duty, an automatic shotgun is bearable. And it was it's completely bearable and um, I don't really use like the AA twelve. I don't use it. I mean I like the striker and, and I don't know why I'm talking about weapons from a game that's like two, three years old, but um, Yeah It's a challenge. But I guess the main part of this commentary was just supposed to be about how, um, ironically, in Battlefield, in fact, no, no, it's not just me. Everybody, or mostly people, in Battlefield, they, they don't, like, they don't really camp. I mean, you know, I've been playing Battlefield for so long, and, you know, snipers are snipe, but campers, they... I mean, I don't want to say they're non-existent. There are campers in Battlefield. I've encountered some campers. But it's why is it so much worse in Call of Duty where, you know, the idea of the game is supposed to be, you know, run and gun, fast pace, twitch shooter, uh, you know, like, camping should be less prevalent in Call of Duty than it is in Battlefield, but it's not. In fact, um... People camp so much more in Call of Duty versus Battlefield, and it's it's funny. It's it's just it's just something I had to bring up because it it really does make me laugh. Like we're we're talking about camping in Call of Duty, which does seem bad, but when you compare it to Battlefield, it's like oh well, people camp more in Battlefield. Not really, not really. People camp so much harder and so much more in Call of Duty. It's just ridiculous. 
um, anyway this video looks like it's ending and I did I went on top I, I went on top of my team you know I got the most points in the server and I did pretty well but the funny part is um, you know the fact that we lost even though like I got a beast score but it's because they kept beasting the bots so anyway I'm gonna end this commentary here and I want to thank you guys for watching I'll have another commentary for you guys another time we'll see um, this job is starting to catch up with me, so I might not be able to post as often or as much as I want to. So I want to thank you guys for keeping up with me, my um, subscribers and people who aren't subscribed. If you like what I do, you can subscribe. I'm not asking you to subscribe because I really don't give a fuck. I'm the one who watches most of my videos. So if you subscribe, you subscribe. If you don't, you don't. Who gives a fuck? So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.